These are the Dragons, five of Britain's wealthiest and most enterprising business leaders. Over the coming weeks, they'll make or break the dreams of dozens of budding entrepreneurs. The multi-millionaire investors have each built up their fortunes from scratch. Retail magnate Theo Pafitis. Hotel and health club owner Duncan Bannatyne. Leisure industry expert Deborah Meaden. Queen of logistics Hilary DeVay. And telecoms giant Peter Jones. The Dragons have the credentials, the contacts, the commitment and the cash ready to invest, but only in the right business. Will any of these hopeful entrepreneurs walk away with their money? Welcome to the Dragon's Den. Over our 10 series, we've witnessed many memorable deals in the den. But you know, there's one great thing about business. There's never a shortage of new ideas. There's always another one round the corner. And there's no shortage of entrepreneurs willing to risk all in the den. But as it's the dragon's own money thereafter, only the best will succeed. The rest will leave with nothing. Good evening, dragons. My name is Rufus Fideo, and this is my partner, Dr. Charlie Baird. We're looking for an investment of £250,000 for 10% of our company. Normally, a hygienist appointment would last half an hour, 20 minutes of which would be spent carrying out a scaling using a conventional ultrasonic scaler. We have developed a diesel scaler that enables a hygienist to carry out a full mouth scaling in less than 45 seconds. This means a hygienist can see 10 to 15 patients an hour instead of the current two, with a huge increase in gross income for the practice. This short video demonstrates our diesel scaler being used. Right, Mrs. Scoggins, if you can open really wide for me. Now, this is going to make a lot of noise, but if you can keep really still, it won't last long. We'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. A confident pitch by the two entrepreneurs. But Deborah Meaden wants to find out more. What you've got here is brilliant and it's very simple and very straightforward. So can you just run through how you think this financially works? We've been able to buy 250 surplus military diesel engines at a thousand pounds each with the expectation of further supplies as the MOD ordered them too big to fit in their vehicles. We estimate gross turnover of £500,000 in the first year, rising to £2 million the next. OK, who else does this? Well, no one. The £250,000 would mostly be spent on marketing and hospitality. We've already been approached by other investors who've offered us £100,000 for 10%, but we feel the Dragons have the business expertise and contacts that would take our company to the next level. Um, I have to say... It is not a good strategy to come in front of five other investors and say we value you so much less than the other investors that for the same percentage we're going to charge you £250,000. That is not a good strategy when you're asking for an investment. And sometimes you just lose investment because you screw it up. And you just did. I'm out. Some straight talking for the entrepreneurs from Deborah Meaden. But Theo Pafitis is unusually quiet. I like to sound all these, and I think I could sell these in my shops. And I can hear the cash registers a ring a ding a ding a ding a ding a ding a ding. -a -ding. What does it cost you for the product? What do you sell it for? What's your margin? We market the unit for three thousand pounds. We buy an ultrasonic scalers at a thousand pounds each, and these are modified at a cost of a thousand pounds. And then there's the cost of the diesel engine. Ah. Duncan Bannatyne seems to have discovered a flaw in the entrepreneur's business model. But if we sell more, we might be able to bring our costs down. How many of these have you sold? None. I've seen some stupid investments in the den, but this takes the biscuit. You are wasting your time on this. There's no margin in it. There's no money in it. 
it's not going to sell. I'm sorry, I think this is absolutely ridiculous. I'm out. Charlie and Rufus seem to have angered two of the dragons. But what does Hilary DeVay have to say to our budding entrepreneurs? Your pitch was outrageous. I think your business model is preposterous. I can't say any more. I just can't say any more. I am out. They've lost three of the dragons in quick succession. But what will Peter Jones think? If I were a dentist, how would buying one of these help my practice? The fee for a hygienist appointment would normally be £50, giving gross earnings for the practice of £100 an hour, of which £30 would go to the hygienist. Our diesel scaler would enable a hygienist to generate gross earnings of £600 an hour, so it would pay for itself in under a day. A self-assured response. But Peter Jones wants to know more. So why do you need our money? We haven't paid for the diesel engines yet. I'm amazed how well you can present an absolutely ridiculous idea. I'm out. Having heard our entrepreneurs' responses to some tough questioning from the other dragons, will Theo Perfetus be prepared to make an offer? You two are a pair of cheeky bloody monkey sods. Get out! It's been another unpredictable day in the den. At times, it seemed like the dragons were poised to part with their cash, but in the end, they failed to make a single investment. It's disappointing for the likeable entrepreneurs who dared to pitch, but heads always rule hearts in the den. And we've still got 250 diesel engines we're not going to be able to use. Actually, I've got an idea there. Oh, yes? I've been working on another project. A diesel-powered root canal reamer.